So our first lightning talk tonight is uh, Phil Cockfield from Respondly, and he's going to be telling you about the, uh, the an update on the UI harness. Hey, good evening, everyone. So I wanted to check in and give you a quick update on where we're at with the UI harness and then make an announcement. Um, so if you recall, the UI harness is a technique for isolating and then documenting um, UI as we develop, develop it. So here I have a description of the dev shop, uh, maybe before anything I'll uh, load a control. In this case I'll load a thing called a confirm bar uh, and then set its size to say 400 by auto. And then boom, we get this control showing up. Now um, that's what I showed last time, but here's where we um, have things starting to get interesting. We can now begin to use the test harness as a way of telling a story. For instance, um, I can put a uh, uh, subtitle on, check out um, uiharness.com, and the uh, tool will now begin to um, be expressive. So we can begin to explain it. This will expand out to full markdown uh, documentation for the controls. What we might also want to do is add, say, um, a section and say, let's talk about control state. Within that, I might um, put a Boolean value in uh, to, say, change a property called is enabled. So simply by doing this, we now have a rapid way to manipulate the control um, with a very small amount of um, test code on the, on the um, uh, uh, surrounding it, where we get a lot of UI um, to manipulate it. Um, another common thing would be if we have a multi-state uh, property, for instance, color. We have a control uh, for the, or rather we have a property for the control. So let's put some radio buttons in. Radio it will be confirm color, and let's put red, green, and blue. So now the UI harness interprets that, gets us a bunch of uh, radio buttons, and now we can manipulate that. The UI harness will in, in also remember what was the state of that. So we get the control into a, into a um, stable test state, and then as we are doing uh, live updates and um, the page is redrawing, the UI harness holds that in local local state and then gets the control back into um, its, its main condition. Uh, its, its current condition. The other thing that we had here was this notion of describing a section. So now we're going to have these multiple sections, we can collapse them, um, so we can get a lot of uh, test uh, state up on the side, collapse it down so that we can um, manage the way that looks and works um, easily. And that's it. And the, uh, the announcement we were going to make uh, is that we're hiring. We're uh, deeply committed to design and engineering craftsmanship, and Respondly is now bringing on some more engineers. So if you'd like to join us, we'd love to talk with you. Thank you. First question, what's the URL of your jobs page? The URL of the jobs page is coming. If you email us at uh, <laughs> tim at respondly, um, we'll get back to you, um, including with the URL to our jobs page. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? All right, thank you. Thank you.